Back in June 2017, Canada finally got access to the Google Home products, and I bought one right away. Two weeks later, I bought another one, and I continued buying them over the years. I bought the Nest Minis, I bought the displays, I bought a larger speaker for in the backyard. That one belongs to the spiders now. The point is, my house is covered with Google speakers and displays. Then yesterday something happened. Amazon released a new Echo Spot for 2024. And I bought it. Now they seem to be marketing the brand new Echo Spot as a smart alarm clock. And that's exactly what I plan to use this for. So is it time to say goodbye to the Google Nest Mini that's sitting beside my bed and get something that's a little more modern and ugh, not so filthy? That's gross, right? I'm still waiting for it to arrive. It should be here shortly, according to their guaranteed delivery. So while I wait for the delivery driver, how about you go and do something for me? Click that subscribe button so that I can see you here next time. Hi, I'm Joe from A Smarter Home Canada. Amazon just arrived and, you know, now it's weird. People used to get nervous if a white van arrived in front of their house. Now, it delivers stuff. I now have the Echo Spot. The first Amazon product I have ever owned. Let's give it an unbox. Okay, so first let's take a look at the box. We have the Echo Spot. That's what it's going to look like. French side. A little bit of information. And what it does. Let's get this open. Not much packaging, it's just kind of sitting loose in the box there. No protective film on the screen. It's a good size, got a good weight to it. Power adapter, little bulky, but that's fine. Your manual, English, Spanish, and French, and safety information. Fun. And that's everything that's in the box. Time to move on to setup. One thing I did notice, when I load up my Amazon app, the device is already on the list and I haven't even plugged it in yet. So I don't know how it did that, but I'm going to let that slide for now. I'm just going to let it run through the boot up sequence here. I'll fast forward any non-important parts. Hello. Your device is ready for setup. Sigue las instrucciones en la app de Alexa. Scanne le code QR à l'écran pour l'ouvrir ou la télécharger. You're now going to want to scan the QR code, accept the permissions, it'll find the device, and then it's going to search for the Wi-Fi. You're going to have to put in your Wi-Fi information. I'm going to make a few updates to your device. While I do this, please continue set up in your app. It wants me to verify my address and then choose what room the Echo Spot is going to go into. The final step is just to choose a clock display and that's everything set up and ready to go. As I install the updates, this device will restart. 
It's all set up, the updates are done, it's rebooted itself, and we're ready to check this out. So first off, manual volume up and down buttons along with a mute button as well. I've always been a big fan of physical buttons. One thing that's always bugged me about the Google Minis especially is uh, I'm never sure where to hit for the volume up or down. This fixes that, which is, which is nice. It's a good feature. From what I've found, this device is exactly as advertised. It's a smart alarm clock. The small display is nice and it's really nice that you can change the clock. There's plenty of options for that. You get some limited information on there as well. It does notify you of your Amazon deliveries, which I found out because it just happened to be on there. There is a menu in on the device and it is a touch screen. So you swipe down to bring the menu up. This gives you your menu options. The home button goes back to the clock face. The sun icon is your brightness up and down. Moon is your do not disturb. And the gear icon is your settings where it's gonna bring up another menu where you can customize your clock face, set up your Bluetooth, configure the display. In that one, I suggest turning on adaptive brightness and night mode. Under the sounds option, you can set your defaults for media, volume, alarm volume. You can pick your alarm sounds. Here you can also turn on the request a sound at the start and end so you know when your assistant is listening to you. In the settings menu, you will also have uh, access to the help section, accessibility options, and all the legal mumbo jumbo that uh, they throw on there. It's been about 48 hours since I've replaced my Google Nest Mini with the Amazon Echo Spot. It's sitting in the same location beside my bed and I'm using it for the same functions that I was using the Nest Mini for. Now keep in mind, I've never used an Amazon Alexa product before, so I'm still learning. One of the first things I checked out was the maximum volume of the Echo Spot. I found that it topped out between 80 to 85 decibels, which is, pretty good for a small speaker. I'm not throwing raves or anything. So for a bedroom, it's absolutely perfect. You're never gonna need that much volume. I also found out while testing the volume, I'm really not a fan of Amazon music. Um, I really wish I could have my YouTube music play through the Echo Spot. I doubt that will ever happen though. If you know a workaround, let me know in the comments please. By using it on the nightstand, I found out a couple of things. The display is perfect. It's not overpowering or intrusive. It doesn't light up the room. It doesn't cast this weird glow. You don't even notice it's there. One thing I always did with the Google was at night I would play ocean sounds, wave sounds. I found uh, this helped me breathe better. I was more in rhythm and I could fall asleep faster. And it's something I've been doing for years. So by switching to the Echo Spot, I had to figure out how to do this again. I guess with Alexa, you have to add... Hi. This might answer your question. No, no, Edition quiet. Is one of the with Alexa, you actually have to add a skill and... This was something I knew nothing about because like I said, I've never used it before. So you have to add a certain skill to be able to play ocean noises. Skills are something I'm going to have to really look into because there seems to be a lot of them. This might be an area that Alexa has a big advantage over Google. So I'm going to be exploring that in the future. But I did manage to get one downloaded or added or whatever. And uh, it works fairly well. One thing that I'm not a big fan of is when it does have the ocean sounds playing, it overrides the clock face. Even when you go back to home, after a certain amount of time, it is going to go back and just show the what it's playing again. I wish it would just stay on the clock face. For a quick 48 hour test, I'm quite happy with the Amazon Echo Spot. As a smart alarm clock, I think it's fantastic. Is it gonna replace my Google Home Minis all around my house? Am I gonna switch over to Amazon? Probably not. And in all honesty, if Google came out with something that looked like this, I probably would have bought that instead, as long as it was around the same price point. As for what's gonna be staying at the bedside, it's not gonna be this. And that's gonna be it for this video. If you stuck around this far, please do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button. It's real easy to do and it really helps out. Click on the beaver when he shows up during the song. If you didn't like the video, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching. Whoa.
Play by your rules. 